are treated in such a manner, eh? <laughs> There's quite a bit to say, sir. Shut uh, your mouth. Pay uh, taxes. You do. And then we're born like this? Right here. Colonial justice. Down. Dog. This is your judge. You need your bench. You have an important decision to make. I am a citizen. This is not to be born. Your own Washington would be about this. Lieutenant Carlson. You sitting here, sir? I I shall keep on the guy. Very well. Hmm. You are here because you are accused of counterfeiting or passing. The very I will stand before you, but I will not kneel to this. Hmm. You are aware, sir, that the act of counterfeiting debases a currency of these United States enables hardship upon all of its citizens and is inimical behavior by people who could be judged as enemies to the United States. Yes. If one were a counterfeiter, you might find this to be true. But I am not, sir. I am a citizen. He's been running his mouth since we apprehended him, sir. He is no patriot. I will tell you that now. So it appears. Mm. One does not need to agree with a government based on freedom. Free speech. Without that, you have tyranny. And you are no better than the French. Are you aware, sir, that the money which you pass to those innocent young children it was souvenirs. Are you aware that upon that is written, "'Tis death to counterfeit"? Well, I suppose if one could read, you might see it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, a law is made for people who neither can read or those who can read. Ah, as a trap by judges and other authorities, it is common in England and France. It should be no different here in the colonies, a place under revolution, a hotbed of rebellion. All the more reason to behave yourself in a, in a law-abiding manner. And no way that I could be a counterfeiter, since I cannot read. Hmm? You are silent, sir. I feel the quandary in your mind. What's the charge? Charge is passing um, counterfeit on currencies. Yes. And... As I look this over... Mm -hmm. Penalties range all the way from um, cat of nine tails to execution. Oppression is what these are. Tommy and I don't hold you to blame, lad. Not at all. Not you nor your friends. You're right good ones. If the rest, however. But I also see here that if we were to find this gentleman innocent, which of, of course of, of his, I am, shut you off of, of his of his crime. But we See still the find, impression? but we still find that the passing of or the use of counterfeit currency was was done. That. Those who passed said currency and tried to spend said currency could, could be executed. I spent no currency. This is all hogwash. So our, based on that, I believe our first means of decision is in regards to this gentleman, and I'll use that term, Maybe not no. deserve, but I will use that term. <laughs> that um, whether or not he is innocent or guilty. Innocent! Or, if need be, do we need to try those?
those who are implicating you. With the permission of the court, may I speak? Sure, go ahead. We have a dilemma. We have the Continental Articles of War passed by Congress, modified again a year later by Congress. It contains all the listing of the offenses that the Continental Army soldier can be found accused of. Our problem is, counterfeiting is not in the rule. Does this man sound like he is a friend to the United States? He has tried to pass counterfeit money. He is, to our judgment at any rate, guilty of that. But we haven't the legal power to give him what he richly deserves. Correct, Lieutenant Carlson? Correct. Well, to be released then. You gotta let yeah. him go. So, no it. But if we let him go, he will now repeat his mischief. Sirs, maybe I can help. I am the local constable for this county. While it may not be against the law for a military tribune, it is against the law under civilian law. Are you telling me that he can be tried then under civilian court jurisdiction? I believe so. Are you prepared to take him and lodge his worthless carcass in jail <laughs> until Certainly. such time as he can be <clears throat> That's the nicest punished? thing I've heard all day. <laughs> May I borrow your guards and escort him to the jail? Major? Sorry, Major. You and your friends remember Asshole. what justice is like here. I, I believe that you might want actually, to go I believe back that we can England. accept that means, but we would simply ask upon completion of said trial and any punishment thereof that you report back to us and let us let us know the results. Do you want his body? <laughs> I doubt that there's anybody that would want this, things are looking this up his body. So, down for I, I don't think so. Okay. Freedom, Gentlemen. all of you. Here is continental Sir, freedom for you. If you could you. please escort this gentleman to the jail. Very good, sir. Lads, yeah. by your leave, sir. Please do in regards to me. I want to thank you for the cooperation you showed us when you were in danger of being punished for something that was very, very illegal at this time in history. You did everything that we could have asked a citizen to do and to help us bring that miscreant to justice. I don't know what will happen to him. I don't care what happens to him. But we would like to thank you for your standing up for your country. Did that man promise you something? Right? Well, we can't give you a free horse, nor can we give you a buggy. We can't give you a musket or a sword. But we can give you a booklet of soldier cards. A complete set of every type of regiment that we have here in the city. I saw this weekend. <laughs> signing because you had the bad money. The other money wasn't. Would you like your money back? Yeah, I just wore in. 